Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. We recently test drove the 2023 Jetta, which has a newer 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine under the hood. So we're gonna do a complete underhood tour outlining all of the major technical aspects as well as the maintenance service points. The 2023 Volkswagen Jetta features the brand's latest generation EA211 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder gasoline engine. Here, with 158 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. In our Jetta test vehicle, it has an 8-speed automatic transmission and is rated by the EPA at 29 MPG City, 40 Highway, and 33 MPG combined. The all-aluminum engine features the fuel-saving buttock cycle combustion regime along with dual variable cam timing and a relatively high compression ratio for a turbocharged engine at 11.5 to 1. Its variable geometry turbocharger features an electronically controlled wastegate and fuel is fed via high pressure direct fuel injection. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts behind the grill and enters a large air filter box at the front of the engine bay. From there, it travels through a plastic tube to the rear of the engine into the turbocharger. Once boosted, the air then travels back to the front of the engine where its temperature is lowered with an air to water intercooler attached directly to the plastic composite intake manifold. This arrangement reduces the plumbing associated with the air-to-air -air intercoolers of the past and is said to reduce turbo lag as a result. From there, the air is sent into the engine and combustion takes place. At the top of the head, you can see the four spark plug coil packs. The direct fuel injection system is for the most part not visible as it resides underneath various other components out of sight. Once the air passes through the head into the combustion chambers, it then exits into the turbocharger at the rear of the engine and out to the catalyst and exhaust system. As complicated as it all might sound, the VW Jetta is actually one of the most straightforward and simply laid out engine bays among contemporary vehicles. The engine coolant reservoir is located on the passenger side of the engine compartment above the wheel well, its level clearly visible and easily managed. Checking the oil level is done nearby at the passenger side front of the engine at the bright yellow dipstick handle. The oil filler cap is located adjacent to it at the top of the engine. The oil filter itself is located at the bottom of the engine. Accessing it will require getting underneath the car. The air filter box is at the front of the engine bay on the driver's side and does require tools to change the filter. Next to it is the windshield washer fluid reservoir noted by its bright blue cap. Checking and filling the brake fluid is done at the driver's side rear of the engine bay. To the right of the brake fluid is the 12 volt battery, nicely wrapped in an insulation jacket. Next to it is the main engine control unit, or ECU. Next in line is the main fuse block that's located at the far driver's side above the wheel well, accessed by popping a couple of clips. An included fuse removal tool can be found inside. Other items of note include the ABS brake system controller located at the passenger side firewall, not really a service or maintenance item though. At the front of the engine, you will find a single serpentine accessory drive belt for the alternator and the air conditioner. The water pump is electrically powered though. At the front of the engine bay, you'll find an electric fan cooling the radiator. Always keep your hands clear, even if the engine is turned off. All right, my friends, there you go for under the hood of the 2023 Volkswagen Jetta with a 1.5 liter TSI EA211 engine. Volkswagen has a lot of different engines under that EA211 moniker. That's just the VWA. There's not a single code uh, that is published out there for each individual engine. There's a part number, but uh, when you say EA211, it can be any number of different things. And we've done different videos on a lot of those different engines. Anyway, we have a test drive on this car and it made it to our buy list for 2023. You can see that right there. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there and stay informed of everything we do.